So. I don't know what we've technically added with the thing in the circle, but I'm guessing that circle is our is going to be the final area of this part of the game. Season? Level? Area? Final area of the area? We'll go with that. So, I think next... Uh... Yeah, we'll try and make our way to the coast settlement, see what's there, and then we will march our way back round up to the one by the cliff, which will then take us around across the bridge so we can get to the car and then take that back to the Aurora, hand anything in, well, hand what we need in, in, see where the story takes us. Big thanking you. Right. We go. Depending on how close we are to the other one. Yeah, it's probably about the same distance each way. So we will try going this way. Uh. Booger, 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 booger. Yep, now we're heading in the right direction. We just have to cross this road. There's the encampment, but I've knocked out all the people from there, I think. Could be wrong, mind you, but I think it's a sure bet. Uh, what the dickens? And a parasol. There's a parasol. And a man and a couple of things sat there? What? How do I get there then? Down the cliff, I suppose? Uh, yeah, not that cliff. Let's face it, Artyom. Uh, yeah, that's alright. I'm trying to preserve my med kits, not waste them on fruitless shortcuts. Oh, that's my Geiger counter. I was wondering what the additional dial on my bracer was, but it's the Geiger counter, so that's alright. Keep my gun holstered for the moment. Quick save, just in case he decides to put a bullet in our head. Hello? Are you friendly? We just found the Baron. to this plan. He's a cretin. Why did I listen? Don't remember. <laughs> they even paint portraits of that double, those cretins. And I must rot here. Damn your soul. I can't take this anymore. I'll tell him. I'll give him a piece of my mind. As soon as Sol arrives, bring him to me. I want to see that cretin. Hello.
I'm guessing he was blind. Well, I didn't hear a karma thing. I'm surprised, though. I was going to expect more of a fanfare. Right. So... Oh, Requiesc Pache. I have now become an actual assassin. So... Yeah, I think a shotgun to the face may have been a bit overkill. Yeah, we'll save on that. Hello, what's this? Ah! NVD amplifier. The night vision system combines two technologies, heat vision and visible light amplification. Such systems were only available to special forces before the war. Or I keep the battery an electrical circuit designed to maintain battery charge process, improving the efficiency and making batteries last longer. So, what does that do to the night vision? Uh, what? I'm not entirely sure what the night vision's that's done to my night vision. Consumable carrier. These add on technical backpack comparison does it save space for carrying extended supplies of consumables such as med kits and filters. Well, I'll never have enough chems for more filters anyway, so we'll stick to the extra ammo. Night vision system combined two technologies heat vision and visible light amplification. Such systems were only available to special forces before the war. Oh, right, so it's giving me heat vision. Eh, we'll keep the batteries for the time being. I can always swap in the extra stuff if needs be. Oh, well. Oh, well, I've concluded. Shooting him in the head with a shotgun may have been overkill, but that was for Guile. And all the stuff she had to put up with with him and his forces. That's for the slavery ships I've just taken down. That's for your inexplicable mockery over the blasted radio system. So yeah, you can sit there. Should have probably tried taking you out with a knife to be honest, but whatever. Um, I, I really play Artyom viciously, don't I? Where do you have to be if you want to survive in this game? To a degree. So now what? Um I suppose we go and see what that final question mark is. I'm gonna be honest, out of everything that I was expecting in this game, I was not expecting to just find the main enemy the big boss man of the area just sat there on a cliff. On the other hand, however, the only reason he was there is because the bloke we stole the car off organised it. So if we had a kit, if we hadn't knocked him out there and actually killed him, none of that would have happened. I really wish I had a sort of a Zelda. I'm going to add a, a tingly noise there whenever I have these great revelations. My soundboard is a bit. Uh, at the minute. I just have the witches la la la. And that's it, really. Now, I've already got myself lost. I miss having a mini-map. Right, there we go. So we'll go up this bit and we'll keep going straight ahead and hopefully... Oh. Uh -huh. Anything in here? No. Okay. Thought there might be a bit of scrap metal or something, but no. Nah. To be honest, the metal detector would have probably told me, but I've had enough trouble with that metal detector in the past anyway. 
Yeah. Goodbye. How does shooting him at point blank not damage these, kill these guys instantly? Just asking. I suppose if I was playing on normal difficulty, it would probably one hit KO them. Oh, they oh, stood on a snake. One hit KO them if I did shoot them at that range. Oh, he's brought a friend. Why's my frame rate dropping again? Oh, have I summoned the horde? Yeah, man. Reload. Yeah, man, Archim. Reload. You're dead. You're dead. Maybe. Are they shooting at a random mutant attacking them or are they shooting at me? Considering the music's playing, I'm guessing that I've alerted the nearby enemy encampment and they're now trying to take pot shots at me. Map. Right, what is over here then? A, um, ruins? Oh, I've just stood on something anyway. Uh, is this where are all those mute? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, that killed you. Is that it? Oh, hello, it's telling me the stuff. Where is it? Here? Ah, there we go. Okay, right, so we did find at least some scrap. Oh, 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 hello. The stood on you, sorry mate. Let me make it up to you by filling you with lead. Yeah, goodbye. Really? I came all this way for some... Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. We have something. We're picking something up. Oh, we had something? Yeah, uh, no, maybe. Oh, stop toying with me, game. Have you picked up metal or haven't you? Ow. Guessing I was poisoned then. Oh! That's who's taking pot shots at me. Oh, well, let me return the favour then, mate. Ow. I don't. How do I hold my breath? Uh oh. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, right. So it is actually real time the bullet <laughs> the bullets are real time. Um Piffle. There we go. 
think that... Oh, well, whatever. It's done something. Let's see what he was up to. Switch back to the shotgun. It's going to take me some time to get used to that sniper rifle, I think. Also, I'm pretty sure the range isn't that brilliant, so... Do you? Okay. Yes, you have me pinned. Stay watching the campfire. Really? Are there only two of them. Anyone else is here? Oh, there we go. Okay. There you are. Well, it's your win, man. Listen up, everyone. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. Okay, <laughs> Aren't you getting too fucking full of yourself? Didn't your mom tell you it's wrong to take other people's stuff? The tribals on the ship were ours. Our property. You ain't fucking crossed the line this time, you dumb motherfuckers. I would take that threat very seriously, and I'd be concerned for the crew of the Aurora. Apart from the fact that I've just put a bullet in your head. So, yeah, okay, you talk to me from beyond the grave, well done. I'm going to pretend that was a recorded message. But that said, I do love the intro to that radio piece. Yeah. Um. Don't suppose. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll take your ammo. Don't suppose either of you find. Gen I did knock you out, right? I think I knocked him out. I wasn't paying that much attention, to be honest. Right, well, I can't do anything with the quad bike, so I'm going to have to walk, I suppose. Yeah, take that. Did I knock him out? That was my last quick, last checkpoint. Oh, it's quick saving now. Never mind. Eh, well. I've not killed anyone, and I think I might have noticed throughout the entire game, so... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, walking through fire, not a smart idea. Right, map. Um, I think that's it. There's no more areas on the map for me to explore, at least none that I've found. So, yeah, we'll just walk our way back across the desert towards our car. Sienna? Hmm. If I unholster my gun, do I move faster? Maybe? Right. Uh... Now, have all the enemies I killed stayed dead? Never tell with this game sometimes. It'd be cool if they did. Save me some hassle. But at the same time, I think... I, I know in the last area, the river place, I ended up taking over the train depot and knocked everyone out. They came back later, they were all awake. But then I came back as part of the story, and then they had all disappeared. 
So I guess the game bugged out at that point? Oh, I don't know, there's too many bugs in this game. Well, uh, I say that, I've played worse actually. I've seen worse bugs and they seem to have done quite a good job patching it in the time between me playing it last and now. Still not sure why the frame rate dropped so badly, but... And the popping's a bit iffy. Hmm. Other than that, yeah, characters are strong, story's good, world design's good, interesting. I think they rely a bit too heavily on the mutant guys, but at the same time it stands to reason because I run into them in populated areas, so exposure to radiation, ghouls. I think the reason I find them so annoying is just because it takes so they just soak up too much of my ammo unless I aim for a proper headshot against them. Uh, we'll go up this way. Let's save us some pain. Yeah, there's Anna's outpost. Isn't there a fire down there? Can I go and inspect where that fire is? I've also noticed you can tell that it's a bandit's area because at least in the other area I came across the occasional house and person who wasn't actually in the cult here. It's just all bandits or slaves. Oh. Oh. He looks dead for a while, and yet there's a campfire going. Fishing rod as well. Well, he was one of the locals then, I'm guessing. Killed by a bandit, or he was killed by a mutant? Let's run away quickly before he reanimates and tries to numb on my face. Oh, go, dingus, go away, go! No! Great. Burn a med kit because of you little blighters. Right. Just to double check. Two, three. Right, I'm going to start using the quick keys. Because this is just, it's just getting ridiculous now. I keep trying to flick through the guns with my scroll, with my mouse wheel, and I just pick the wrong one now. So this is number one, assault rifles on two, sniper rifles on three. Right. Also, while I'm here. Raft. Yeah, raft. There. Couple more med kits as well. Make sure we've got a decent supply. Wow. Air effects. To be honest, another reason why this game glitches out a bit as well might be because I'm streaming and playing the game on the same PC. Because I just don't have room for a dedicated streaming PC, at least not yet. Not unless I set up a server or something, I don't know. I need a shelf or something, and even then the thermals would probably go through the roof on this system. Room gets hot enough because when I'm streaming anyway. Don't have air conditioning. I have windows and a fan, so me. Do do do. Maybe they should put that on all new builds. Air conditioning. Then again, I suppose not everyone wants air conditioning, and it has to be serviced, and you have to do this and that. Ah, maybe not. Oh! She's gone! And left her magical floating pottery behind. I don't think I can get in there, can I? I don't think there's anything in there for me anyway. Huh? Oh no, it's just... The gooey screwing my head. Right. Off we go. Back to the Aurora. Let's see if we hear any more tales from the grave. Doopy doop, doopy doop, doopy doopy doop.
go. There's the Aurora. Oh, just as a sandstorm seems to be picking up. Goody. Uh oh. Oh, come on, really? the seat. Don't know what's going on to be honest. Where's Anna? There aren't any seats. Oh, there's a seat. Hi, Artyom. See how anxious Nasi was for your return? I told her you went to get the maps so they would know where to go next. Did you find them? Yep. Great. See, we are the Cornell and tell us more. We will all be anxious, really. Oh, first, where's my bleeding wife? Okay, fine. Seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. That's convenient. Perfect. Grant by Yermak, don't you have any water left at all? Well, where would I keep any? In your untouchable reserve, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't even have a canteen. I never needed it before. Wait till lunch, then we'll all get some, huh? I wish I had a canteen. Then I'd share some water with you now. Thank you, darling. Oh, conveniently. Uncle, is this for me? Wow, thank you! Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Well, now we'll have to ask for some water. Then you'll have your own untouchable reserve. Wow, thank you! 
Oh, off she goes. Hello, Artip. Any news about the water? As you can see, I, I've been trying to condense some, but with no coolant, I got less than a liter out of it. Hmm. I wish it would rain, but that's highly unlikely here. I don't have any sort of anything like glass or cling film you could what have you got, idiot? evaporate out of the sand. What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. <laughs> they even have the radiation level dynamics here. When is it from? Hmm. Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals, the European part of the country. Aha, I see. Yeah. No Far East. Weird. I see two options here. Either the Far East was out of the satellite center area. Or... Or somebody snatched all the maps of the East before us. If that is the case, they still left plenty for us. Where should we look, Colonel Sir? I'd forget about the large cities. They were priority targets. Still, going for the deepest end of nowhere isn't too attractive either. But this place seems clean. Ah, no wonder. It's just a step. What if we go north? North, uh, no good. See, there's a lot of fallout here. Should have gone milder after 20 years, but I still wouldn't advise a prolonged stay there. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Check this railroad out. It's most probably the one we're going to use to get out of here. Yes, it does look like the only way out for us now. And that is why we should study it in as much detail as we can. What if we take this fork? A lake? A river? Radiation's not too high either. Hmm. Seems promising. This place is somewhat unusual, though. Yes. A large spot to the north. But the place itself looks clear. There is also some intact infrastructure. In any case, we should study our options. Uh, are we not even going to consider other countries? Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan? Yeah, right. Throw New Zealand in there for a good measure. <laughs> it's not on the maps, by the way. <laughs> Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. Ooh. The workbench is at your service. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around. <sighs> I'm feeling kinda under the weather. Not my best day ever. And I'm not doing that poorly, all things considered. Hmm. Uh, where's the workbench? The workbench? Ah, this is the workbench. Okay, right. Ooh. Right, what is... Wait, did I just get given a bunch of more materials? Sweet. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Right, let's clean the guns up a bit. Oh, that's doing all right. TMR, uh, automatic, automatic pneumatic system. Automatic system constantly adds air to the system when pressure is below normal level. You can still use a hand pump system. This has easily become the best gun ever. No need for a silencer. I can make ammo on the fly. I now have an automatic air pump system for it. And I've got a sniper scope. Not that my sniping's particularly brilliant in this game, but, you know, well, all things considered. Um, do we make any more med kits? No, we'll hold off for the time being. 
There we go, repair the gas mask, we'll keep that, keep that, keep that. Yeah, keep that. What's that? Oh, that's just my normal bracer. Okay, fair enough. Doop, doop. We've got enough molotovs, we've got grenades, I don't use throwing knives. How much does that, that cost? 40, but we've got 32 ammunition and I don't use it that often, so I think that'll be okay, so yeah. I could do with some more air filters, but I'll come to that as and when I maybe need it. Sam, how is that dinner doing? Be ready in half an hour, sir. Good. Okay, leave them to it. Oh, um, okay. I wasn't expecting to see them here. So, what does the tier map look like now? Hmm. Okay, right. It's got an automatic pumping system, but it's no longer airtight. Uh, is that of major importance? Now what, we'll trial it for a bit with this, but I might switch back to the airtight system. Uh, so, what do you think of our situation, Artyom? Not so good, huh? Now besides, we had guests too. Gave them our best welcome, naturally. <laughs> The beast ran straight into Stepan with his mint grinder, and he just minced them. We rushed out, but only saw the bodies. One of the bodies, blood, was Stepan's. Now, at first, I thought the bastards got him. Nah, he didn't even have a scratch on him. It was a freaking heat stroke. He's down in the station building now, resting. The rest of the guys are not in a great shape either, so... If those oil bandits decide to put real pressure on us... We're screwed. And they may just do that because I think that you lady is trying to use us as a piece in her own game, Bullet. Having us take those bandits out would play right into her hand. Yeah. Though if we are all out from dehydration by the time they arrive, that plan will backfire big time. The colonel ordered that water is to be only given to the sick and those on patrol doesn't drink at all himself. So, he's cooped up inside and there is no getting him out. He says he's too weak, it might hurt the morale if people see him like that, you know? As if the morale could get any worse with no water at all. It got so bad, Yermak decided to try and condense some from the air. It's goddamn desert, blin. <laughs> so this is the situation. We need water and fuel, badly. And we need a hell of a lot of both. With Aurora turning over two tons of water into steam per hour, her appetite for fuel is also nothing to sneeze at. We're up a shit creek here, and we'd better find a paddle soon, you know? Or else we ain't gonna come out smelling like fucking roses. Well, that's my take on the things, at least. Yes, well, does it help that I've already put a shotgun thing uh, got the name does it help i've already blown the bandit's head off there we go that works a bit better ah right our map uh x has moved um yeah okay pretty much just head straight up to wherever doodad is Uh, you know what? Thinking about it. Oh, 
about them? Oh no, that's a sniper stock. Automatic pneumatic system. Automatic system constantly adds air to system when pressure is below normal level. And pump. Air tight pneumatic system. I wouldn't mind. But the only difference between the air, the airtight and that system is that it's got a couple. It's got a flexible tube. Surely they could have just used a bit of normal copper for it, or I don't know, whatever. Um, no, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's swap that. Switch back to the airtight because if I'm going to use it as a sniper rifle, I'm not going to be. There. I've got this far without having the automatic system, and I've not once thought, oh, wouldn't it be great if this gun had an automatic pump on it? 